Sorry. I don't know what happened there. Hopefully you can hear me now. Hello, it will. Refresh my screens? What do you mean refresh my screens? Hi. Hi, sorry about that. Damn. We're back. So I really need lunch before we get started. So I never do this. I've seen other streamers do this, but it feels like kind of cheap or something where I eat and then we watch a YouTube video together. <laughs> Is that, is that okay? Normally I just freaking scarf down my food or um go away for five minutes, scoff it, then come back. You do it all the time, really? So it's okay? I wonder that. I don't want to get like DCM8 or something, but is this like cheap content? I don't know. I, I've done this maybe twice in the three years I've been streaming. Weird, right? weird but i'm so desperate to eat that you know what i've wanted to see this internet historian video forever yeah free content right <laughs> low effort content let's go well instead of making you you know watch a fucking be right back screen we could just do this instead let's watch a freaking youtube video together okay yeah and then after that, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this, the the uh, streamily signing. I've got it all set up, ready to go. Although I might have to like not go live again. But yeah, let's go. I've been meaning to see this. Let me know if the the audio is okay for you too. Tisk tisk tisk. Look at you, uncultured, unsophisticated. <laughs> Middle class. No, don't speak. You'll just make class? me throw up. I'd say cover up with this dinner jacket, but I'm afraid that you'd get your head stuck in the sleeve and asphyxiate. Help, I'm stuck. I've done that Listen, before. lowball. Don't you want to be refined? Don't you want to be fancy? Like moi? That's French. Yeah. I don't expect you to know what it means, <laughs> but I have some good news. Before this financial year ends, I have decided to make a charitable deduction. Okay. It's you, champ. For you see, or I- you can have premarital oh, sex. Uh, this virus. That I have me. made yeah. several videos though, From which will show days. you how to bluff your way to the inner circles. Undetected. <laughs> yes. By the time the elites find out, Neon Genesis Evangelion is psychological and intense. It will be too late. It is not. I get you in, you, you eat all your doughs, and we get out. That's the plan. And let's begin your instruction with... Theater. The YouTube premium of upper society. And the first section? Symphony. Hmm. The live sounds. The first period of performance, that's called Baroque, from 1600 to 1750. This featured Bach and Vivaldi. Now there was also a guy named Giuseppe Tartini, and he was the best one of them all, because one evening he had a dream, where the devil showed up and presented him with a deal. <laughs> the devil would become his teacher and impart on him everything he knew about music. Yes. Once Tartini had learnt everything he could, he handed over his violin and asked the devil to play. True story, bro. The devil played the, the greatest musical like piece that Tartini had ever heard. <laughs> Tartini woke up with a gasp and he tried to recreate what he had heard in the dream. And what he wrote down was his most famous piece, the best thing he had ever written. And he said, this is shite compared to the original. This is nothing better than a tribute. And that's where you get the Tenacious D song from. He named this piece reference. The Devil's Literally Trill. Five seconds and ago. he claimed that the difference between his version and the version in the dream was so great that he would have smashed his violin and quit music forever had he not needed it for his job. 
Classical, 1750 to 1830. Mozart and Beethoven show up like da 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 da. Now, Beethoven was famously known for going deaf. Once that happened, everyone told him that he should just quit music forever. But he just wouldn't hear it. Anyway, there's so much huh. I could say about these two. Uh, hear it. <laughs> romantic era. Now that's when everybody started kissing, and it's my favorite. Great piece. Mwah. Oh, you played <laughs> wonderfully too. Mwah. We also enjoyed listening. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. All you need to know about this one is Chopin and Berlioz. Berlioz, however, was not getting any kisses. He was relatably paid. Mwah. Oh, you played wonderfully too. Mwah. We also enjoyed listening. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And it's my favorite. Great piece. Mwah. Oh, you played wonderfully too. Mwah. We also enjoyed listening. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. All you need to know about this one is Chopin and oh Berlioz. God. Oh my god. Fucking <laughs> time. God. Oh, this guy is so funny. Fuck. Okay. I'm good. Berlioz, however, was not getting any kisses. He was relatably painfully single, living alone in Paris. The city of love. So here's how it started. He's there and he's in his early 20s and he is looking for a new GF. So one day, he attends a Shakespearean play. Early 20s. And old, on stage, then. he spots an actress. Oh. And he immediately falls in love with her. He wrote her many notes, confessing his love. Shrimp. But her DMs went unreplied. So he began writing a symphony about her. Ah, how can she ignore this? And also around this time, he started smoking a lot of opium, but don't worry about that. Anyway, so he wrote this piece just for her. However, his DM still went unreplied. For several months, he started to get quite disheartened. <sighs> Until he saw another girl. So he immediately fell in love with her instead, and he said, you know what? I'm going to change that Man, symphony I wrote. So now it's about loyal. this other lady, and not Man about that ugly loyal. one that I didn't like anyway. This time, happily, she reciprocated, and they fell in love and were set to marry. Da, da, da. Suddenly, what the fuck? Phones haven't been invented yet. Yes, hello, I'm busy. Oh, Rome? To study? Absolutely, I'll catch the first flight out. So Berlioz went to Rome to study music. However, while he was away, he got some news. Berlioz, I have to tell you something. <laughs> Suck Ray Blue. Send nudes. Some other more handsome musician <gasps> swooped in and married his girl while he was in Rome and they ran away together. Betrayal. Berlioz was <gasps> furious and well, he set his park. mind to solving the problem. I know what I'm going to do. Very song. I'm Bang. gonna murder her ah. and her lover. I called it. And her mom. Oh. And then I'm gonna do a self murder. You should have done that first. All right, so this Reverse gets pretty order, elaborate. Please. His idea is to dress up as a housemaid. He has bought both poison <laughs> and two guns. Now he is going to sneak into the house of his ex fiance, and there she and her mother will be sipping tea, which he has already poisoned. Then he will. Pull off the clothing and reveal himself. Better. Blam, blam, sad overture. So he I'm heads sorry, back home Nietzsche. to Paris to do it. But while on his travels there, you know, it takes quite a while, he has to change carriages. And when he does that, he leaves the guns in one of the little cubbies. So he's lost all his weapons. I think what is he going to do now? Because he's dumb. He's a dumb cunt. Well, his next leg on the stop is Genoa, and he decides. You know what? Let's just skip the murder and go straight to the finale. So he stops off in the port city of Genoa and he's there at the side of the Mediterranean. He pauses for a moment, then he throws himself in. Now, some people see this whole thing happen and they think he's had an accident, so they run in to try to save him. They pull him to the shore. He lived. 
You so he has now reached his lowest he didn't point. Want to be saved. He dejectedly continues home. He gets back to Paris and he wallows around, feeling pretty sorry for himself. But he decides, you know what? I may as well do what I do best in times of trouble. Smoke a lot of opium. I was going to say. And while I do that, I shall write a symphony. There we go. Although I ain't going to name it after that hoe who stole my heart. And so he went back to work. But here's the thing. It was the greatest piece he had ever written. And it premiered to a huge crowd. And you know what? It was a smash hit. Number one on iTunes. But then, and here's a bloody <laughs> plot twist. Remember the first girl? Yeah. Well, she attended that concert and she realized that Berlioz was a genius. And then she wrote a letter to your boy saying how good your bloody symphony was. And sorry about not replying. I just put my phone down and got super busy or whatever. Yes, By the way, Soz. I love you. Oh. And so Berlioz goes, well, I love you too. And a year later, they were married. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful moral of the story. See, fellas, don't jump in the Mediterranean. Anyway, a few years later, they got divorced because weirdly, he cheated on his wife with the housemaid. Not that one, a different one. Oh, but just... then he married that housemaid. Hooray. I mean, she married But then her, when he sweet. died later on, for some reason, he gets buried with both of them. It's kind Ew. of strange. Ew. But uh, moving on to the Impressionist you know, music. Now that's Claude de... The Bussy. what now? Bussy! Claude, the what? Bussy spotted. You know Bussy what? You've been a good ad time. Mm. All right, guys, welcome back to the Nord Stream. Today we're playing dad. Assassin's Creed 3. Chat, chat, come on, chat, I love chat, Assassin's chat. Creed. Hey, oh, everyone's spamming Nord in the chat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whoa, a new follower. Hey, welcome to the Dream Team Sub Cream. I wish I had uh, a new thank follower. you so much for great to see. Oh, unfollowed. <laughs> Sorry guys. I finished my the food, cleaners though. are here. Sorry, just just ignore the mess. I just I haven't cleaned the up these bottles microphone. yet. No, it's it's just tea. Oh it's God. just tea. The shore microphone. <sighs> I just I stream for ten hours a day and it's like the algorithm is against me or something. How come everyone is watching Asmon stream? And Get I'm not getting out. any new followers. I'm playing the games. What more do you want me to do? <laughs> Just a quick word Average from the sponsor. NordVPN <gasps> is the VPN that you can trust. Men live so like go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian for a huge cases. deal on a two year plan plus four bonus months for free plus a 30 day money back guarantee. My God. Today we are going to be watching the new Snow White movie. I love the intro. Oh, I love seeing that Disney logo. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get up and get some food. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. That was me literally just before. Whoops. Ah. What the f who reported my stream? Guys, don't Hello, report my, my stream. Hello my Nordlings. Welcome back to the stream. Can we get some ends in the chat, guys? No like, not like that. Bods! <laughs> Bods! <laughs> Welcome back to the I almost bet out my ASMR feet. stream for NordVPN. Thank you. Today I'm going to be drinking a, a can of Coke while I say the word. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it just me or um his whisper voice? <laughs> Please don't send this to him. Oh my god. I cannot be caught simping. Over fucking internet historian. Panties on the floor. Whisper in my ear. Lick my neck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What the Don't. Oh my god. Why, why would you do. <sighs> Bro. Just listen. Listen to the whispering voice and tell me if I'm wrong. And today I'm going to be drinking a, a can of Coke while I say the word Nord. Ah, Nord. Nord. Hey, thank you for the tier three sub. Oh, I feel so cold 
out. Is this how you guys feel when I do ASMR streams? Oh my god. Why does he sound hot? Hey. When he said can of Coke, I felt that. Welcome back to the, uh, <laughs> the ASMR stream for NordVPN. Today I'm going to be drinking a, a can of Coke while I say the word Nord. Ah, Nord. <laughs> hey, thank you for the tier three sub. Oh, thank God. With NordVPN, I can be outside my house, Jack's Films house, Samito's house, Ordinary Things house. Just like that. Welcome back to the hot tub stream. What do you guys mean? How many hot dogs can I put in my mouth? I never what? Did I'm just. Oh my god. $5,000 donation. Thank you so much. You guys are such good friends. See, he knows the meta. He knows the meta. This, this video. This video is so funny. Oh my god. Yes. Friends. Streaming's not for me. I'd rather go to nordvpn.com slash internet historian to get a huge deal on a two-year plan plus four months for free. And over. I'm called out because I have a shore microphone right now. Watching Netflix, are you? Yes. Oh god, he's in my bedroom. Oh, oh no. All oh, tucked please. in with a three-hour essay on good game good, and here's why. Fallout New... I didn't think I wanted to see Internet Historian at the foot of my bed, but I fucking do! Stupid, sexy Australian. Vegas is actually the only base Bethesda game. Turn that off. I've got something for you much less enjoyable. And far- <laughs> I don't want to hear about what you have for me! What you have for me! Internet Historian, suck my dick! Internet Historian! At the foot of my bed, crawling up my body, in between my legs. Oh my god. Ah. My eyes. Far oh, more expensive. We're going to the theater. Oh, we're not going, we're coming. <laughs> theater. From the, the ancient I Greek deserve. theatron. The most dramatic of the Transformers. <laughs> it means a place for viewing. The I'm most sorry. dramatic of the <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so good. These little puffy shoulder pads and his little puffy pants. Transformer. <laughs> it means a place for viewing. Here's a Roman theater. They were quite simple back then. You have the stage, the auditorium, mm -hmm. and the vomitorium. The now, for a very long time, people thought that the vomitorium was a place where the Romans would gorge themselves, where they would eat so much that they would throw up and then gorge themselves again because they were so decadent and or the limit. Yeah. But it comes from the word vomir, which means to spew forth, because yeah. that's where people go in and out. So yeah. vomitorium is just a dramatic way of saying the entrance. <laughs> now, if you skip forward to the 1800s, things are getting a lot more modernized, but they still didn't have electric. So they had what's called the limelight. Ooh. And that's why they say to be in the limelight, to be the star of the show. What they would do was take a piece of quick lime and heat it up super, super hot, which will naturally glow very bright. They would then what? take reflective mirrors and lenses to focus the beam, and they would use that as an early form of the spotlight. Why were they so The limelight smart. is not because it's green, but because it's made from quicklime. In the Ooh. modern day, 
things are a lot more advanced, and they can do all sorts of wow. cool shit with like lasers going into your eyeballs and all sorts of stuff. I mean, he is welcome, but maybe But it's, it's not funny. just the tech that's had an upgrade; it's the architecture as well. In Elizabethan times, they had the yard, and you could get in here for about a penny a piece. And this is where all the poor people stood to watch the shows. It's like when you go to Oppenheimer and you end up with the worst seats in the IMAX theatre, like right? Oppenheimer. But thankfully, oh in modern yeah. times, we have fixed that problem. We kicked out all the poor people and we <laughs> sunk the floor down low and put in an orchestra pit. Now, these things are usually 6 to 12 feet deep, so they're not obstructing the audience's view. So but deep. having a giant hole at the end of a stage oh, no. is no, quite no, no, dangerous. No. Ah. So usually they put a big net there as well. I can't with And yet a lot of people off. still oh. get pitted. Oh. Like a lot of people. In 2011, during a production of The Sound of Music, one of the lead actresses fell into the orchestra pit and was left paralyzed from the waist down. In 2009, Holy a conductor, shit. not a superconductor, just a regular one, fell 14 feet into the dark pit and broke nine vertebrae and one ankle. I didn't even know you had Mom that many mia. vertebrae. And he fell on his pointy conducting oh. thing. At the oh. Bolshoi Theater, a violinist died from his injuries after falling into the pit. This theater is prone to all sorts of accidents, by the way. It's kind of cursed. But Just performers and musicians aren't the only ones there. falling into the pit. In 1988, an 82-year-old man fell fuck? from his balcony box seating all the way down into the pit during a performance of Macbeth. He died. Yeah, Very no spooky. Even already dead people oh are getting pitted. In 2016, a man sprinkled his friend's ashes into the orchestra pit at the Met Theatre. Nani? This happened during the intermission, and it was a sort of tribute to a mentor of his. But of course, people went, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. And he goes, oh, I don't know, and he flees the scene. <laughs> Everyone's coughing and sneezing up dead guy, and people think, is this anthrax? What is this? So they Such call in the anti-terrorism police, and the whole show is cancelled for the rest of the evening. Look, listen, quick listen, listen. I, I like what I like, and I like his, I like his voice. I do. It's the whispering. Okay. Quick intermission. Okay. Or is it? Ooh, Fin TD. I am the <laughs> trap master. Uh, not like that. Do not ask me to reveal my secrets, uh, woman. I, I have dedicated my me. life to the mysteries oh. of the theater. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, the theater. She has so many enigmatic Please traps. dedicate your life to me, internet historian. Please. Let us start with the most simple yet what devious. Do you do with those? The wall with trap. Those? It allows the actor to walk directly is. into the set piece. Ah, where did he go? Nobody knows. Cast your eyes over here to the I'll genie look trap. You want me to look, now the victim historian. stands on this dumb waiter, and a counterweight <gasps> launches These their things. hapless body up onto the stage. <laughs> Terrible idea. In the olden Terrible. days, this circle of flaps would sometimes uh -huh. go on top, and then that would make the whole nope. thing just one nope. way. Now, back Ooh. when they made this thing, they didn't have hydraulics. So instead, they'd have like six stagehands pulling as fast as they could. And sometimes sure. it would go totally wonky, or it wouldn't open properly, oh. or they'd oh. only get about halfway through. <laughs> oh, uh. well, I guess that's it. There's Why only it two. <laughs> Wrong. This is the vampire trap. And if I want to come back up again, this is called the sunroof trap. Very cool. Watch out for the closing doors on this one. It managed to trap Spider-Man's foot back in a production in 2013. Me and the Green Goblin, we collabed on this one. All right, there's one more. The Ghost Glide. What you do is stand on this slide a bit, and it ascends diagonally, which makes it look like he's coming out of the ground. But the ladies, they're yawning, and they're going, ooh, short ghost. But then... Five foot, five foot one, Five foot two, all the ladies he, are turning their heads now. Five foot? foot three, five foot four, five oh. foot five. All the ladies are loving it. 
Now, I bet you're wondering, what happens to the actors when they go down these traps? Are they dead and gone forever? Ah. Yes, sometimes. In 1888, really? Frederick Federici was playing the role of Mephistopheles in Faust at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. As he descended That's the trap Australia. at the end of the play, goodbye everybody, goodbye, he had a heart attack and died. Never seen again. So as you can imagine, well, with this many deaths, the theatre has become a highly haunted place. Oh yeah. Oh. In fact, sometimes you can put your ear right up to the wall and you can hear two male ghosts wrestling. Can't fake that. Ah, Wrestle. another ghost hole. <laughs> Don't look inside. I did once. Almost went blind. That's why I wear the mask. Anyway, because of all the ghosts, the theatres do yeah, whatever they the can to side. keep Sorry. the spirits happy. Sorry to poke you in the eye. See this? It's Gave called a ghost light. Socket, when sorry. everything is closed, it is kept on always. Kept on for the ghosts, so that they don't you know, bump their shins in the dark or whatever. At the Palace Theatre in London, there has been some ghostly activity. I was activity. totally going to go see that stage Seems play. To be Harry Potter? A bit of a hot spot for ghostly activities. And that's why they always keep two empty seats at the back so that the ghosts may sit there and watch the show. So that's why we traditionally kept a couple of seats off sale for the ghosts. However, Harry Potter is so popular that we, we sell those seats now. Oh. Also, most theatres close for one day per week. And on those days, the ghosts are left to perform for each other in their own shows. Which they like, we think. <laughs> I was worried about my own vagina. It oh, finally, culture. the vagina monologues. A culture of other vagi v vagina. Vagina? You know, I wasn't always part of the hey. elite. Hey. In fact, from a very young Korean. age, I grew up in an orphanage. No, no, my parents weren't dead. Rent in that building was just really cheap. But my parents showed me no affection. And as soon as they could, they sent me off to boarding school. But Those boards monsters. were always their passion, not mine. I tried to run away, <laughs> but they caught me. And boy, did they throw the book at me. Alas, I did not dodge in time. I spent the next few years in a coma. <laughs> a Native American town, Pueblo Acoma. And the people there taught me how to read American. They also <laughs> had a local library, and I spent my days buried, buried in books, learning as much as I could about the arts. And once someone noticed me buried under those books, and they rescued me. I knew I wanted to teach default character presets like yourselves, all about Shakespeare. Finally, Here's his note. Shakespeare. I started Googling Shakespeare and I got kind of distracted. So, I don't know. Here's, here's a wave file. You can do something with this. I put him in like a classroom or something. All right, attention, everybody. I am your new teacher. You are a bunch of troubled inner city youths. All you know is shoot gun fail test and crime but i'm here to teach you that actually books and reading and stuff are actually pretty epic after all yeah they're totally rad now the earliest known written His language is what mr single parent household i don't know teach but you're never gonna get through to me oh really <laughs> well what if i go back in time Back, back in time. In the long, long ago, very few could read. But to be fair, most of the written languages were kind of shit. This is cuneiform, the very oh. first written language. And it has far too much punctuation. Yeah. Then eventually came along the Egyptians, and they invented emojis. Yeah. But they would call them hieroglyphs. Anyway, the typical written thing would go like this. A uh, message for you, sir. Big bird, man with stick, man sitting, circle. Oh, more bills. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Eventually that became quite annoying. So the Phoenicians, who were a kind of Lebanese, hmm, very progressive, especially for those days. Now what? they came up with a better idea. They started going, ah. Hey, that sounds a bit like an A. Buh. That sounds a bit like a B. Cool. And so on and so on. 
until we had a proto form of the alphabet. Look at that. Now, the Greeks thought that was pretty neato, but they yeah. said, let's come up with an even better version with 22 letters, and soon that will be like There's English. A. Wow. Oh, oh, oral history. Oh, oh, <laughs> Greeks more like geeks. Oh, got them. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you about something highly relatable. Of the surviving Greek works, the greatest hits were the Iliad and the Odyssey. Now, because most people couldn't read, hey, hey, yeah, this stuff me. wasn't written down for a very long time. And instead, it was memorized and performed. And when they performed it, they used one of these, a lyre. Liar. Now, this was great for conveying tone, right? So, here's a soft bit, doo -doo -doo -doo. but then this is a big dramatic bit. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Now, the Iliad starts with this guy, Menelaus, king of Sparta. And he has a wife, Helen. And she is a very fine lady. She and is then the Prince what? of Troy shows up. His name is Paris. Oh my god. I had such a crush on Orlando Bloom. Look how hot. Woo! I mean, not to cheat on my internet historian or anything. The only thing is he can't act. He can't act for shit. He can't act for shit. So yeah, Helena of Troy, little minx, making all Kiona. the men come out. Karen, might I suggest the next video later? I'm just doing this one, Killjoy. I had a thingy in the in the in the Discord where you could uh, suggest uh, videos. That was like three weeks ago. Yeah, and he just goes. This one. Damn, shorty. A wooga, a wooga. Mm -hmm. hey. hey, that's what he'd say. Yep. Right? Yep. And he and his boys abduct her and took her all the way back to his crib in Troy. Now, this makes Menelaus quite miffed. Hey, hey, hold on there, Buster. He declares a turf war, but he can't win it alone. So he calls on his homies hey, Odysseus, like that. king of Ithaca, and Achilles, the best drive by and... shooter of all time. But Achilles is not in the mood to fight. So the whole of the Iliad is basically spent trying to convince this oh, guy to get Pitt involved. In movie, Please? No. Please? No. Eventually, they win the turf war by being very sneaky. They make a giant horse, which is the symbol of Troy, and they leave it at the front gate. That's their way of saying, oh, I guess you win. We're walking away now. <laughs> and meanwhile, thousands of soldiers go off and hide in some bushes. Now, the Trojans are very suspicious, but they can see that the Greek ships are actually sailing away into the horizon. Um, so they know, away. oh, it must be real, must be real. We've won, we've won the many years war. <laughs> but actually, there's Yay. almost no one on those ships, and there's a surprise inside the horse. I like Fred. Later that night, when everyone's asleep, psh, <gasps> boiling hot tzatziki everywhere. And also some soldiers wearing thermal protection. They get out and they open the gates and then everyone comes out of the bushes running into the city and kill everybody. Damn. After they win the war, Odysseus heads back home to Ithaca. However, on his way, he starts making beef with Poseidon, god of the sea. And Poseidon is mad at the disrespect. So he sends Odysseus on a long ass detour. And that detour is the story of hey, the Odyssey. Pretty epic, YouTube. right kids? Thank you. <coughs> I learned some. I'm learning Whoa, so Teach, much. Whoa, Teach, that's fire. I'm starting to come around. That Odysseus guy is literally me. Yeah, I'm going to try that horse trick on my ops. Homer from Homer's Odyssey is not a character in the so... story. He's the guy who tells the story, and then people wrote it down. Now, moving chronologically to the next big one, you've got the Bible. And for all practical purposes, ah, yes. this was basically an oral tradition, too. Most people were illiterate by this point, and the Bible was written in Latin, and pretty much only the clergy knew Latin, so they would be the one to recite it to people. It says that the cute lady at the front should go on a date with me, please. Listen, the rules are the rules I didn't say at the book did. There was That's a translated right. version into English, the Wycliffe's Bible, and you better believe that thing was a threat to the order. So they made that illegal to own. What? And if you were found with an unlicensed copy, the punishment would be death. So it remained. The Bible was read to the people. See, words are powerful. Now, by the 1300s Don't came Chaucer, who otherwise. wrote the Canterbury Tales. And that was a pretty big deal. Get this book now. Listen to Oprah. Because it's one of the first significant works written in Middle English. 
It describes a bunch of people making a pilgrimage from Southwark what? to Canterbury, which is here uh, to here, to to which was the longest journey anyone had ever made in the 1300s. <laughs> now, it's a whole series of stories, and most of them can be boiled down to yeah. how come if everyone is on a pilgrimage, you're all so focused on material stuff? Oh, hypocrites much? Dong. I'm time traveling right It's now, now the 1600s, oh, and they've boy. updated all the textbooks from Middle English to regular. In 1601, King James I said, all right, you know what? Let's everyone have a copy of the Bible they can read. Let's do a King James Bible. I won't feature it, but I'd love to be in the title. And he commissioned a committee of scholars to rewrite the thing in English. God's language. It took eight years. And that brings us to Shakespeare. And he's a huge deal. Oh, look, we're out of time. Oh, oh, but sir, oh, but sir, we're supposed to do penis inspection day today. No, no, <laughs> there's no time. Roll the end card. Maybe later, though. The end. You gotta have at least a four. All right, that's the list. You watched the whole video. I did. Or at least you had it on in the background while you scrolled your phone. And I couldn't be prouder of you. There's just one more quick thing I want to tell Daddy. you about. Thank you, Daddy theater props. For example, this gun. Now, the thing... Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I know what you're Kyoto. thinking, but it's just an actor. We all know that the real Lincoln is Thank dead. You, Blue Carter. You know, when I he fell asleep on the tracks of the Underground Railroad. Oh, no. Anyway, this thing is super realistic. Although the trigger is a little loose. Ah! row 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 Raggy! <laughs> Oh, I can't believe you did that. Feel free. But I won't tell anyone. And uh, you know, in fact, good news. <laughs> I'm gonna make you my little protege, and I will be your protege. Uh, you, you'll be my what, my what, my what, my what, what, what? I'll, I'll be anything you want me to be to you. Oh my, oh my, oh my, my, I'm your little what? I'm your little what? Mm. Why internet historian uh, hitting a bit different these days? God damn. Ooh. <laughs> and I got so many more lessons to teach. I'm Still here. Speechless. Yeah, it's just a little cleaning. More good news. Next video is almost done. It'll be on incognito mode and it's about the art. And the next main channel video is also nearly done. That'll be out shortly after. If you're looking for more content in the meanwhile, we have another channel called Story Mode. The Metal Gear Solid and Forspoken videos are especially good. Don't forget NordVPN. Thank you for watching. More soon. Brought to you by War. I. Having some weird feelings right now. Why am I shrimping over Internet Historian of all people? What the fuck? Did he get a new microphone or something? What happened? Did his balls drop? Did he get pubic hair? What happened? Did he start drinking? What? What's that one all the kids are drinking? Fucking uh, G Fuel? Well, I see fuel on my dick. What the hell? Yeah, G Fuel. I just watched the South Park episode about cred. Have you seen it? It's pretty funny. Wow. No, I'm not watching this one. Two hours? Hell not. No. That is not happening. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. You know what will happen, though? Is, is I need to not, not hear this man's voice anymore. Yeah. And I need to do my, my art stream signing. Played this card, historian. But why? I just spent like half an hour already shrimping over him. Ah! Hey, Internet historian. Yeah. Hey, little mama. You can whisper in my ear anytime, Internet historian. Goddamn. Especially when you do a fake southern accent. Mm -mm. Boy, howdy. Oh, my. 
Oh, my stars. Oh, my land. <laughs> why do... Why do you want me to shrimp for internet historian? Yacht. I'm legit embarrassed. I didn't think I would react this way. <laughs> and like, I hear Australian accents all the time, right? There's a lot of them in, in Auckland. And like, it never hit this different before. Lou Carter, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Can can we have a, a a squirrels, please? It's for me. It's for me. I'm calling myself out. I am. The 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 oh, science the shrimp. Okay. <laughs> no, not jail. I don't belong in there. Maybe prison instead. Anyways, I will be right back. Hopefully the stream will not fail. <laughs> Let me just hide the window capture because that's a doxing waiting to happen. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I should be able to... Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> let's see, let's see if I can. Nope. Bear with.
hard to organize, okay? Jeez. I'm doing my best. <laughs> so I have 10 of these left. I have 10 to sign and then 10 left. Check it out. Nice. The likeness, it's uncanny. I'm sorry, what? No, you, you can't, you can't do this to me. You can't let him know my shame, no! That better not be the real guy or I'm gonna fucking shit. I am, I doubt he has a Twitch. I, nope, nope, it's not, nope. Why? <laughs> Wait, it's a gifted sub, right? It's not actually him, right? God, yacht. Yeah, it was Cyan being the fucking troll. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? I am a good noodle. I pay my taxes one leg at a time, just like everybody else. Yeah, it's his actual account, but Cyan's the one who was crazy and gifted him a sub. Cyan, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. About to finna give me a heart attack. I am done. <laughs> Love you too, ow. Love you too, Cyan, and the invisible things landing on my head too. Pretty fun. Owie. Owie zowie. Anyway. Any fucking way. <laughs> you just want this stream to not be over, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, you like the nails? Oh my god. Look. Look. Can I get them close? Um. I like this one. Come on. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Do it like this. Come on, camera. There. Kinda. You can see them for like a second. <laughs> They're long and tappy and moist, and so, so, this is for you, Cyan. So right now I'm doing a streamily signing for the 10 beautiful people who actually bought one. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> I feel like last time you guys all wanted them from Ule and not me. <laughs> But anyway, I bought a new pen and I'm hoping, hoping it'll fucking work. This is a test one, okay? Did I just break it? Wait. Are you not meant to push it in? Hold on. Are you not meant to push it in? I mean, it still works though. Okay, it still works. <laughs> Straight away. Pushed it in. I mean, I also have this. This. That also works. Yeah. That also works. Hmm. I do like the gold, though. Small brain. That is me. That is me. You got me all flustered, that's why. Help. <laughs> Help. Anyways. I have 20. I have 20 here. Anybody would like to get one there? I believe $30? $30, I think. Let's, uh... I think if you type an exclamation point streamily, maybe it gives you the link. 
right? Love the nails? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love getting my nails done. It's like the one thing I do. Really? It doesn't work? Ah, goddamn. Let's uh find the link for you guys. Somebody do. Okay, got it. Got it. Um How do I pay? <laughs> how do I pay you stop? I'm gonna paste it in streaming plan streaming <laughs> streaming plans for the mods. If you could please paste it in um Twitch chat, that would really help me out. Thank you. I'm a mess right now. My hands pay How dare you? How fucking dare you? I'm just naturally pale, okay? Damn near translucent. You can see my veins. See? I, I wasn't kidding when I said I was a basement dweller. I am actually a basement dweller, okay? <laughs> you you doubted me. All of you doubted me. Hilarious. My nails look... Thank you, thank you. I know, I know. I'm just bougie like that. So the first one, of course, belongs to Akira-kun. And Raven Nani. coming, grab your clocks. Hey, AKB. How are you, bitch? How's it going? Interesting time for you to come in, man. I'm just done shrimping over internet historian his sexy Australian accent. Like, oh my God, bro. I cannot get enough. <laughs> yeah, go, go check out Camilla. She's very, very cute. Also kind of mommy lately, too. Don't think I have a notice, girl, because I have. Welcome, Raiders! I'm sorry I can't, can't have a party this time. I'm, in, like, in the middle of this, like, signing my face. <laughs> but hey, if you want one, if you want one, they're up for grabs. Via Streamily, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Camilla, you want to join me for Lethal Company tomorrow? Having a big collab. Pop in anytime you like, if you want. Yeah. This one goes out to Akira-kun. Oh my god, I can't believe I pushed in the nib. 52. Wow, I fucked it. Do I need to get, like, I have an X-Acto knife. Maybe I can just... Don't try this at home, kids. I could get some tweezers, maybe. Oh my god. If I cut myself, this is going to be bad. <laughs> They're not free. No, of course not. Nothing in life is free. I mean, I was going to do a bit where I would, like, use this knife for something else, but yeah, I'd get banned. You know what? I might need tweezers. <laughs> I'm not even freaking joking. I could use my teeth. I could use my teethies. I don't think that's going to go over very well either. I need this pen. <laughs> the only one I have. I bought it specially. And the first thing I did was push it in. Can you believe it? I will be right back. I'm going to tweeze the shit out of it. Hold on.
you're not gonna believe it. It is fucked. <laughs> so I have to use this plain old Sharpie, but luckily it seems to work just fine. So that is what we are doing. Numbered, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Although, to be um, to Akira, to Akira, -kun. my biggest fan, shrimp, I should say. I can't go get another one. I can't. It's legit, just completely. This shows up okay, but I really wanted to use the metallic paint. <sighs> yeah, I don't have a car. I can't just go out and get one. It's not that easy. <laughs> I broke it so bad, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. I can at least sign it nice and chunky for you. Yep. You get a signature. You get a signature. I just... Go look at... If someone clipped it, go look. I just pushed it in completely. There you go. I get a con. Now, he didn't say he wanted a kiss mark or anything. But, I mean... At least make this stand out a little more. Because I want people to get their money's worth out of these. There are only 20. That is it. I am never signing these prints again. There we go. Overlining. There you go, Akira. I tried to get out the tip with the tweezers, and in doing so, I squished it. And now it's completely fucked. Yes, there is still time to get a print. Absolutely. There are, I believe, 10 left. And Cyan, if you could, could have the link handy, that'd be so helpful. Thank you. I pasted it in chat just before. So that's number one. One down. Nine to go. Okay, done. Completed. Boop. The Streamly stuff is great, though. You get to, like, really view everybody's personal, like, what they want. Akira missed the whole stream. I know. He must be so busy. Or something. But either way, I'll put their name on it. This one is to Jacob. I won't say the last name. Just in case. <laughs> you you totally still can. I, I'm still streaming tomorrow for sure. Possibly even the next day. Possibly multiple, multiple times a day. So there's still time. Can't forget the number. I did for one print. And it was the Biggest pain in the ass. What seems to out there? Potty mouth priest persona? I mean, have you met a priest? <laughs> I haven't, so whatever. Is it possible to gift them? Um, I don't know. I mean, you would have to maybe gift them the money and then they put their details in. Because either way, it's going to be sent to whoever ordered it, right? Yeah. So in theory, maybe. But I will be signing any, any that don't like sell today. I will just put my signature here with like nothing else. And then those will be on my store later if you can just get a plain signed print. Still signed, just, you know, not personalized or anything and not numbered. So the numbers let you know it's legit, right? Totes legit. It's too jakey. I still want to say jakey, but I won't. 
Is Jacob here? I feel bad if he's going to miss this, but at least it's, you know, recorded. I know when the hotline bling. Double checking my signature. One second. Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay. I like the chunky graffiti one. You forgot to give instructions? If you let me know what one it is, I think you can still edit it, yeah. Provided this one isn't yours, of course. <laughs> still time. I will not begrudge you that. Mwah. Little heart for Jakey. There you go. Thank you so much for getting a print. Looks great. Still wish I had the metallic, but whatever, you know. Best laid plans and all that. What if you wanted to buy a set of them for my mod? I mean... Yeah? You know what you could do? Is we have a pally. You type exclamation point feed. There is a um a way that you can actually pay the mods directly. Cause you know they deserve it. And they get the monies. But it's really up to them how they want to, you know. How they want to spend it. I doubt they want a, an art print. I don't know, maybe they do. I could be wrong. Forgive me trying to set this up. Okay, there we go. Little Knight deserves the world, man. Honestly, she deserves everything. But they would have to go ahead and order one because I'm only doing them today. Number 55 to Ashton. Thanks, Ashton. Nice name. I like that name. Ashton. Kisses and hugs. Feed the mods. They're hungry. Eh? Infamous? Holy shit. <laughs> that is a. We got a 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 that is the first time we've used that new redeem. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Who got a dollar? We got a dollar. Thank you so much. I know they're going to go cray cray for that. <laughs> that is so generous. Well, mods, is that, um, is that what you guys want? Is a, uh, <laughs> an art print? Let you know. Yeah, infamous. Mods do be doing the hard work, the Lord's work. Yeah, I I love that. It's um little rascals. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Who got the dollar? We got the dollar. There you go. Big old garish signature, isn't it? <laughs> I'll do a little, yeah, yeah. You get a little extra. Yes, you do. You control me, yes. Infamous, that's so generous. Thank you so much. Oh, it does a heart good. Here you go, Ashton. This one's all yours. Hey, mods, maybe we could pin a message to the top of the chat so people could see where to get one. Yeah. Hello? Who is this, Uwu? Grid. Who's this person? A lot of names I don't actually recognize. They should talk and chat more, huh? Yes, they should. <laughs> Already pinned by drama. Oh, it is. 
Oh my god, you guys are so on the ball. I don't even have to remind you. I don't even have to remind you. You are the best. Yes, you are the best, drama. You know it. You're that bitch. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. You just got your print? Thank you so much. It should appear in the... I'll refresh the list after this person. So this one is for Grid. No special instructions. Disappointing. We got a We got Who got that? We got that? We got that? Hey, 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 hey. So cute. You like this song? She's gone mad with power, guys. The mod has gone mad with power. Oh no. Oh no. Next subfest? Not sure. I actually missed the last one. I didn't get any notification that it was on. I completely missed it. But you know what? This is kind of a subfest. If you think about it, feel free to sub all you like. Just saying. Grid. Cool username, bro. I love it. Wow. No lipstick mark or nothing? You don't want nothing? You just want your name and my signature? I mean, sure. Eh. Thank you, umami. 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 El mommy. Cyan. Oh shit, it was. Sorry, Cyan. <laughs> Thank you again, Cyan. Infamous, you are you are a gem. They uh they are eating well tonight. I also put um hundred dollars in there over Christmas. So they are eating extra good. I know they're happy. That is this is one is for grid. Number, yes. Please. Please remember to number them. Oh god, the one time I didn't. Okay, another one down. Bite the dusto. Hey Zygonius, I think yours might be next. Nope, I lied. Oh, but this one should be fun. You know why? Because I have to put on lipstick. <laughs> Hot, right? At least there's someone in here with some culture. Number 65. I feel like I just did 65, didn't I? Or was it 63? Wow, it was 62. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're out of order because some people paid for VIP. Yeah, this one's VIP to Shamar. Wants a lipstick kiss. Lipstick kiss. Oh ho ho. Really, Killjoy? 69. Yeah, who's going to get number 69? That's the real question. This one is two. Da Mar. Cool name. Love it. And they also want a lipstick kiss after I do this. That's my tag. My graffiti tag. <laughs> okay. I do have some lipstick here. Yes. I shall apply. Hopefully don't spill it on the fucking print. This is actually from my throne wish list. I don't normally wear lipstick. Okay. Yeah. If you get number 69, yours is the most valuable. Okay, before it dries, I'm gonna do it in the upper right hand corner. Mwah. For you, Shamar. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah. Yes. 
kisses. Cute. First lipstick kiss of the day. Oop. I'll set that one aside so it dries a bit better. Right, Killjoy? I am the original cozy streamer. Especially doing stuff like this. Do you like the drawing streams, by the way? I feel like I need to do more of those. I really like doing them. It is a nice shade of red, right? It's like really, really red. Holy red. Like totally red. We're getting closer, number 66. Oh, I can't even see who's number 69. I'm so excited. <laughs> Blood red. Blood orange. So pretentious. To Morrigan. Ooh. Again, no special instructions. <laughs> Lax as in lazy or just relaxing? Do you mean relaxing? Please say you mean relaxing. I will cry. Mar again. Gotta put the hugs and kisses. Thank God for Sharpie. Thank God for you. We go dollar, we go dollar, we go dollar, hey, 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 hey. Who got the dollar? We got the dollar, we got the dollar, hey, 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 hey. I am very relaxing. This one's for Morrigan. Mari Ganjan. Thank you so much for getting this. All yours. Very, very cool. I'm breezing. I'm breezing. This is relaxing, though. <sighs> I could do this all day. Here we are. Ah, Golden Gate King. Yours is next. Now, are you here? And do you want your name or your screen name on this? Do you want your screen name on this? Is the question. And your number 67. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, you're not. You're not number 69. It's so close. So close. Very. Missed it by that much. Real name? Okay. Just making sure. Thank you so much for getting a print. I'm kind of doxing you right now. Josh Hua. I had to make sure I spelled that right. I, I have never written that name before. Josh Hua. Now it sounds weird. It looks weird to me. <laughs> Maybe I'm the weird one. Very likely. It's more likely than you think. And you wanted another smoochy smoochy. Smoochy smoochy. Wow. Yeah. Moist. Uh-uh-uh. Smooch number two. This actually smells really nice, too. Mwah. Well, that was a good one. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> you see? You see the mmm? Oh, you can, you can do anything. Like, you want... I had one person... I had one person want me to step on it. One last stream, someone wanted me to put my bare foot, like step on it and crinkle it. I mean, I did it, but like, 
And I see someone else wants a, uh, a spritz of perfume. Spritz of perfume that I like to wear. So, I mean, if you want to get one and you want me to do something specific, I mean, obviously no bodily fluids, but <laughs> other than that, if I can do it, I will. I just said, yo, I, I, can, I can do it. Do you want a kissy on yours? I can absolutely do it. Tell me which one it was. I can't actually read your screen name. It's a weird dark blue. That is a good kiss mark, though. I like this one. Thank you, Joshua. Mwah. It's for Morgan. Okay, Morgan. Yes, I can. Absolutely. Of course. Anything else you want, though? Another kissy for Morgan. Thank you so much for getting an art print. I hope you really like it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, one more. Mm -hmm. That's like a weirdly long one. <laughs> Heart. Mwah. Go all in. The perfume? Well, yeah, I can. I will be right back to go get it. Go all out, okay? return and I have for you a bottle of perfume from Locketane and I have actually used some it's uh it's not full this is the one that I really like it smells like cherry blossoms <laughs> golden gate king you want the perfume as well okay well here comes for Morgan Smells so good. Mmm. <sighs> nice. Okay, you get it. And Joshua, you want some too? <laughs> okay. For sure. You'll have to tell me if you can actually smell it, though. You get two pumps. You're welcome. Hey, no, it's okay. You went to the effort of actually, like, getting one so of course of course giddy <laughs> ah it's okay joshua you'll get over it yes next one is out to steve salty salty i haven't seen salty in ages i mean if it's the salty i'm thinking of Guys, you'll never guess what, who got 69. It's the person after this. So Salty, you're number 68, and the next one will be number 69. I know you're waiting with bated breath. 68. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not 69. He was close, though. Oh, guys. Guess what? Okay, Infamous. Are you still here, Infamous? I'm waiting. Yeah, so um, Salty must be watching and not really talking because he just ordered this one and he said, please give Infamous a, a big thank you for me and can I please get a kiss on it? Aww, Steve, you're so cute. <laughs> 
also, he's obviously using his winnings to actually get himself a print. That is so fucking cute. God, I can't handle you guys. I would have given you one for free, Salty. <laughs> Just so you know. Tyga merch is free to all mods. All of it. You want a shirt? You got it. So, Steve, are you wanting perfume as well? Seems to be the latest big thing. Doesn't it? I do wonder. I do wonder. But you get the kissy anyway. <laughs> hey, mod privileges are earned. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're all strapped for time. That's why I have so many, so many mods. Okay, here comes the smooch. <laughs> they all come out different. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, just so many hearts. Forgive me for making it girly as fuck. You can really see the wrinkles on my lips because I have leftover lipstick on my lips already. God. You love the nails? Thank you, Koanos. Thank you so much. What's up? What's up? Did you want perfume as well? Yes, no, yes, no. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe. You're welcome, Steve. Thanks for being such an amazing mod. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I numbered it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I did. You would not pay for it. Kissy, kissy. Kissy, kissy. So guess who got number 69? I'm so sorry to everybody who missed out on the number, but there can be only one. <sighs> it's Zygonius. <laughs> it's always fucking Zygonius. Yep. You got the number. Hey, yo. I'm sorry, Killjoy. I'm so sorry. Huh. No, wait. Hold on. I made a fucky wucky. Okay. There. Make it out to no one? Really? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Zygonius. I was wrong. Ah! Oh, please don't hate me. Oh, please. Oh, please don't hate me. I'm so sorry. Baited. Ah! It's the website, I swear. Dobby swears. Whoever this was did not write their name. So it left a blank space and it moves Zygonius's name up. So this is to nobody. This one's to nobody. Who am I supposed to make this out to? Nobody. I said, write a good quote and a little drawing if you can. Thank you. I mean, yes, I can do that for sure. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> Man, I I could not be more sorry right now. Ah, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Ah, if it's number sixty nine, I mean Zagodius, you care a little. You care a little. Either way, we'll never know who this lucky person is. 
Number 69. The number. <laughs> Whoever you are, wherever you are, she is. I'm sorry. I can at least sign it. Okay, they want a nice quote. So I'll sign it, yes. Down here. Right. And then they said they'd like a quote. Um, hmm. Not so good at these quotes. Uh, don't let your dreams be memes. Okay. Don't let your dreams be memes. Quote me. Don't let them. Don't. Just don't. And then we'll have, hmm. We'll have a little tiger down here. Because why not? Tiger. Meow. Actually, they make more of like a chuff, don't they? Like, <sighs> he can be like, hey, with the paw. Yo, cute. Mow. Mow. I got that. Echo, echo. Excuse me. Also, eat more fiber. It's very important. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, like, it, it, it adds bulk to your stool. <laughs> uh, I'm so funny. I'm just, I'm just so funny, you guys. I'm just hilarious. So, Zygonius, now is your time to shine, right? Now you get to play. You're next. You would have been 69 if you ordered VIP. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. You, so you are number 54. I don't know how that works. I feel like we're going backwards. So you want two Zagonius. To Zuzu. Zygon. E us. Is that how you spell it without an O? Yes. Gon. E. Uz. Zaguni Uz. Ziegler. Taika. Changes. So you also wanted a kiss mark. I know, right? Everyone else is a coward, doesn't want it. What? 
There is no E? What are you talking about? Quit gaslighting me. I'll put an E on the back, okay? Fucking trolls. I look incoming. Mwah. I will not listen. I will not be ignored. Let's try a special Z. A 3DZ, if you will. Yeah, that stuff. I feel like I'm doodling in class. The naughty kid. The king. I was tempted to draw a penis on it, but I won't. Zai. Zai. So extra. So extra. You know. It is me. Fair. Extra nice. Extra thick. There's your Z. Everything is in order. Hey. I like this one. Nice and balanced. Yeah. Killjoy, I would love to do all those special kind of effects and stuff. All costs money, though, doesn't it? Now, next is to someone called Cotton. I'm certainly hoping it's not Cottontail VA. Because, <laughs> my God, intimidate. 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 Thank you, Cotton. Cut on. Cut on. I feel like I could do a kiss. If it's her. If it's the queen. Why do I have hotline bling in my head? Yat. Yat. Look, that was last time. That was last time someone wanted it uh, to be stepped on. Also, the colors of this print did not turn out as like nicely as I had hoped. They're kind of muted, but it's kind of a look, honestly. I mean, I can, I can like scratch it. I could bite it. <laughs> I don't know. I could, uh, uh, sl slash it. I've got a, a knife. But that, I mean, that would destroy it, but I can like cut out a shape. Can I sit on it? Yeah, like if you want me to, I can. Jesus, Jesus Christ, y'all are a, a down bad. I never thought possible. Sit on it, sit on this and spin. Number 58 is Scott. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you belong there. That's right. Well, 
it, it's not really going to transfer my musk. I, I will not fart on it. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Well, not that sure. Look, it's yours. I got. And you also want a kiss mark. Of course you do. He's getting his money's worth. You want that and perfume? Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Kiss, kiss. Shoo. And of course, perfume. You get three pumps, chump. <sighs> so good. And you want a cat drawing on the back. <laughs> okay. Um. Um, I don't know if you meant like a chibi or what. <laughs> ah, I'm so funny. Kitty. Me, wow. Me, wow. Nico Arc. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Well, if you find drawing soothing, I can absolutely take commissions to like draw. I have all of my, um, all of my markers and stuff. And look, I actually bought the hot pink one for myself which I didn't have last time, and it really fucked with me. <laughs> there you go. Me wow. Wowie zowie. Appreciate you always supporting me. Every stream, man. Thank you. Mark off. I think this might be the last one, unless anybody else wants me to do one for them. But this one's for Dragon Daddy. 59. I mean, you're 10 off. But still. Oh, meow nerd. Meow meow. Meow meow. Mmm. Okay. Two. Dragon Daddy.
Okay. Hi. I need to get better at my signature. Ah. Nice. I, I didn't do very good with that one. Hmm. I can fix it. I can fix it. And I did. Go. Go. Better. I'm trying, okay. My hand is tired. That'll do. Yes. So Dragon Daddy also wants Kiss Mark spray of perfume. Uh huh. And you also want a word that describes you best, uh, scaly. Scaly, lol. Frickin' scaly. <laughs> Did I just ruin it for you? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But not really. I'm really not. Wow, I mean, I was just guessing, but okay, okay. Dragon. <laughs> I mean, I joke, but dragon people are all scaly. You know it's true. You know it's true. You do. I do not lie. I do not go on the internet and tell lies. All right, last chance to get one of these for yourself. Because once these are gone, they are gone. And you want perfume, yes, almost forgot. There. I don't wanna put too much on because I feel like it might like shift the ink or something. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thank you so much. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six left. L order up, order up, last chance, last chance. Do I have 25? Do I have 25? Because if not, Bro, that's me. That's me. That's me for the day. Twenty-five dollar dose. Actually, I think it's thirty. Thirty flirty and thriving. Thirty flirty and thriving. Limited edition. Extra thick. <laughs> hey, it all goes towards a good cause because these Copic markers, man, I bought this one and I bought the red one and the pink one and they're $10 each. $10 each. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> yep. Well, I can at least sign the rest of them and just send them off, right? I will try not to fall out of my loft bed. These will not go to waste. They will still be signed. So if you missed out and you really want one, you can just get a free signed one like this, 
right? Just like this. Nothing special, but you know, pre-signed, pre-signed. Still counts. Still counts. I really want to play Baldur's Gate. I haven't played it in so long. Feels like forever. You accidentally pressed a button? How do you accidentally press a button? You say that. Sounds like lies to me. Oh, Golden Gate King, that is so cute. Look, that's why I like doing this stuff though. Like, I remember feeling slight disappointment, but then, you know, this makes it all worth it in the end. Can you imagine huge celebrities who have to sign hundreds of these? I could never. I could never. <laughs> my finger, oops, my finger slip. Well, nothing wrong with a bit of a finger slip every now and then, am I right? Wink, wink. I'm trying to make them like all slightly different. Just a slip of the finger, little slip. So tomorrow we're having a um. Lethal Company collab stream with completely random people I have never streamed with before. But, but here's the kicker. There has been a couple of flakes. So it might just be that my friends might have to save me from collab hell and, you know, come in and stream with me at the butt crack of dawn their time. Just so um, the stream is not a failure and I'm not streaming by my damn self. That's just sad. <laughs> That's just sad. Okay. And this one was a write-off, so that was a practice one. <laughs> but anyway, I know true friends have your back, right? Absol absolutely. Absolutely. But hey, everybody, thank you so much for coming to day one. I might stream later. If the day is still young, I might come back, but I feel like I need a quick break. I don't know. I feel sleepy. I'll do some housework, maybe. Adjust a few more things. Make sure everything's working. Feed the cats. I'm an okay yard. I'm okay. I'm okay. I mean, I can show you a couple of things I drew. Let me see. Where are they? Where are they? I found it. So I think this was like one of the first things I drew on stream. Uh, Vaporunny, Vaporunny, Vapunny, if you will. And it's on like this thick card. Kind of pretty. So I drew that. And then I drew Miss Pixie Willow. And then I drew me. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny. Don't you think? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I would like to draw more. More pretty anime ladies. If I can. They're only small. They're only like a... A5? I think. This is even smaller. But I want to like draw a whole bunch and then have a art auction and donate to charity, maybe um for cats, you know, get get the old cats the surgeries they need and stuff. I think I'd like to do that, definitely. But these are all drawn with uh, markers, so you can see they're not prints. It's like actually 
Buy that for any for the clout. Yeah, that's still my most popular tweet to this day. To this day. It's so not okay. Like, <laughs> I think it has like 50k likes. Is that viral? Gosh. But yeah, I'll, I'll draw a few more things first and then have an actual art auction. But for now, like, that's all I have so far, though. And that, that'll do me for now. Right? That's enough. 60k. Of course. Of course, 69. Oh, yeah, Zeusor. I mean, I drew Zeusor. Where is it? I don't remember where it is. Yeah, you, you can definitely commission me. Absolutely. Um, you'll have to go through my email, though. It's on my Twitter, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. I am going to go take a break, like as in end the stream. Might be back later, might not. But if you want to be, you know, notified, come to Discord or... Yeah, the Twitter should notify you, I think. Maybe. Oh, no, don't traumatize the babies. Don't do it. No, don't. No, don't. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow if I don't see you again today, okay? Appreciate all of the support today. You guys have been fire. Mwah. Love you all. Goodbye.